Yeah, actually, I think this was the biggest challenge uh, in this project because, I mean, I liked it, all the stories. There's like eight or nine stories. Mm -hmm. But, uh, the, the, I mean, I always had this fear of how, how to make all this feels like one, one film. And, uh, and I think we, we've ended up finding very interesting transitions. And sometimes uh, I brought some characters back. And, in, and I think it feels like a film, not like nine short films put together. But that was really my, my, my biggest challenge and my biggest fear when I decided to, to shoot the film. Really, the, you know, the idea that, that the form, the, the architecture, the form of a story can be the protagonist. And, and you know, it, I wanted to do a story um, a, where the synthesis of the characters was what was really important rather than one character's, you know, as a writer, I often, you know, just have to write a, a single protagonist and then you have what's called supporting characters and, and, and character actors and this and that. I didn't want any of that. I wanted everybody to be equal billing and I, w I wanted to do a story where no one person was more important than anybody else. Uh, the, the teen years are pretty depressing for a lot of us. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and th there, there was a time we all fight with, our, with whoever our, our caretakers are. And there are times where we feel tremendously um, uh, isolated. Uh, I haven't, fortunately, uh, been to prison. So you have to relate to where you relate. And um, there were times, I was actually in Toronto when I was about 15 and, and felt just very isolated. I was just thinking, how can I connect with this? And I remember walking down the street and just tried to brush up against a stranger, my, my arm, just because I had no friends and you know I wasn't talking to my, f my parents. And I remember th someone brushed me up uh, uh, in the street, you know, just the hustle and bustle of walking through a street. And I remember I, I, st I started to cry, and I didn't know why, and it was some kind of need for contact. Uh, well, first I was disappointed that I have to be a whore. <laughs> Yeah, be, uh, and of course, first I was scared. I'm, I'm like, oh, not scared, but I was, uh, okay, every Eastern European actress must be a horror <laughs> at first. <laughs> but then I read it carefully, and first of all, I'm very grateful that someone like Peter Morgan wrote a story for Slovakian actresses, for Slovakian person, people. So that's a big luck. And um, and yeah, and but when I when I read it carefully, I realized that it's a character with a nice development and with her sister, Anna. Um, uh, it created also like a full human being and, um, and uh, uh, impressive character. I mean, very, very human, very uh, nice. And I think people feel uh, sympathy for her and uh, and she gets what he wants and <laughs> being confronted with the actual moment is another and and again just to sort of leap back a bit and, and think about 360 almost as a metaphor which is given how interconnected everybody is and given how if I make one right decision does that domino effect give an opportunity for more right decisions to, right. to, to, to happen and and each of these characters is struggling with very you know very human failings and, and urges, and most of our urges want us to end up in the ditch. I mean, almost all human <laughs> urges are catastrophic. And, uh, and uh, you know, uh, and most of the time, you know, we try and rein them in, and it's, it's, a, it's an extraordinary balance being a human being, being an animal, and yet one that wants to constantly rationalize and stop and censor itself, you know, uh, for the sake of some form of progression. It's, mm -hmm. anyway. The, you know, it's about a chain reaction of responsible actions. Yeah.